All right, here comes Josh Mandel. There he is. There he is. Uh, what marks do you give uh, the president? I'm personally disappointed in him. Uh, one of the reasons I'm disappointed is that he ran on a campaign of bringing people together, sort of rising above partisan politics. And where he's disappointed me is that I feel that he's been one of the most hyperpartisan, divisive presidents we've had. Uh, and listen, the beautiful thing about America. Well, he, why do you why do you say that? Sure, I mean, I mean, I mean for, for instance, like it, after two give, years, I'll give you some examples. I mean, right. he's, he's pitting uh, men against women, rich versus poor. Uh, blacks versus whites, and it's just not that class warfare is it tears Americans apart, and we want the opposite in this country. But how, we want to uh, bring Americans like blacks together. versus whites. How's he pitting blacks versus whites? Well, I think a lot of the there's just a lot of class warfare um, in the uh, you know in the rhetoric uh, that um, folks use on uh, you know who are supporting his campaign. It, gays in the military? Would you you don't support gays in the military? No, I think anyone should be able to serve in the military, and uh, I am appreciative for anyone who signs on the dotted line and raises their right hand to uh, defend our country. Um, I think the policies that were on the books since President Clinton put them uh, on the books— The don't um, ask, don't tell? Uh, right. —were working, and if my mind, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They may have been working for you, but not the, these gay military people, you know? It's 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 fair. I think it's a fair. Argument. Did you know any uh, while you served in the military? Were there, did you know of any gays that were in the military? I didn't personally, um, but uh, you know, obviously, statistically, we know that there are. But Some I, of I them probably personally. were. They just couldn't say it. Probably, I'm I'm guessing. Well, that's the policy that President Clinton put on play, put on the books. Uh, and this is where I have a big disagreement with Republicans. Mm-hmm. That if 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 God forbid, if your wife were raped in an alley mm-hmm. and she then were were pregnant. She would have to carry this rapist baby in her for nine months under your policy, and and I just I, I think that's unfair for a man, especially to dictate to a woman. Uh, again, I think the focus of our issues here in Columbus and in Washington need to be on jobs and the economy. Uh, I've said that time and time and time again. And when I go to Washington, when I wake up in the morning, my focus will be on jobs and the economy. I know, but I, this I hear what you're is, saying, but, a, I just, but, but I mean, that's that's important I am, to women. I invite, I mean, you're trying I invite to get... you. I invite you to travel the state with me, and I, you know, I, I respect that this might be an issue that's very important to you. But as I'm traveling the state, I don't care whether I'm talking to Democrats, Republicans, Independent, Libertarian, Vegetarian, what have you. You left out issue, women. And women. <laughs> and women. The only vi- the only uh, issues I really hear about are jobs and the economy, and this is what people are concerned about. And listen, for all those folks whose number one issue is is something else, something else, I, I respect it obviously, but I just think the focus of leaders in our country right now needs to be on putting people back if, to work if we on were jobs, gonna, uh, jobs but, and the economy. Sure, but if if our, if our elected officials were only going to do that when you were elected, if you said, I'm not going to vote on any legislation right. regarding anything else, then I'd say, let's talk about jobs the entire time. But but well, That's it, what you're going to have when I, when, I, when I go to Washington, uh, Rover? The auto bailout. At the time, I said, you know what? Forget it. This is We shouldn't get involved. But in hindsight, though, I've changed my mind on that. I think it was a good thing. What do you think about it? I think the way they did it was flawed, Um, and I'll I'll give you a couple examples. Uh, One, there were a lot of these Delphi employees, uh, these you know just middle class employees who worked for Delphi, uh, who lost seventy percent of their pensions. But the same thing happens with Bain Capital when they go in and they take over a a company and then they they bankrupt it. I'm not blaming you for this, but I'm saying the same thing happens with that when they raid the employees' pensions. So. It, it happens in more than just yeah, government was, bailouts. Yeah, this was, I mean, politicians in Washington who did it. I think that I think that that bailout saved jobs. Yeah, it, it cut both ways. I mean, I think there's folks out there um, who would say that it did, and there's folks. But you out wouldn't there, have done it. Uh, I would have allowed a private sector process to uh, to take place if they had gone through private sector uh, reorganization bankruptcy. Uh, I think the same thing would have happened. And I think the unions would have been disbanded. I mean, I'm assuming you're anti-union. I'm a liberal guy, and I'm not really pro-union. So, uh, I mean, you're not going to get much of a complaint from me there. Do you support abstinence-only education, or I, do you support do. No, education I, I, that says, hey, if you're going to have sex, use birth control? Listen, I, I think the best education... So, I do support you know ab- abstinence-only education. I think the best uh, education when it comes to this stuff happens at the kitchen table. And uh, I trust moms and dads... Uh, a lot more to educate their kids when it comes to these type of issues uh, than I do, uh, you know, folks in the schools. And I, I, I just think there's certain issues that are best dealt with at the kitchen table. And um, in high school, did you have sex in high school? 
Rover, not going to happen on your show this that's morning. A yes. Sorry. That's a yes. All right.